guys and girls, today we're taking a look at an audio interface, the Audient ID14 Mark II. So, in this video we're taking a look at the Audient ID14, it's an audio interface, it has two input channels, microphonic input channels, it has uh, a JFET instrument input in the front, four line outputs, two dedicated outputs for headphones, one 6.3 and one 3.5 millimeter jacks. So even if you don't have an adapter, it's easier to use. It has an ADAT input capability to expand in the future your studio by buying another interface, for example. It has a software mixer where you can control the insert, the output and all the settings of the interface. It has USB-C. It's very low latency and it has an all-metal construction. So my interface is uh, Behringer Euphoria UMC202 HD but it's an entry-level interface so I wanted to grade it and a friend of mine uh, got this so he lent it to me so I can figure out if, it, if this interface is what I'm searching for and mostly I need two decent microphonic inputs I like the JFET dedicated input because even if I record everything from the amp into the line, so I don't necessarily need a dedicated instrument JFET for the guitar, I do need it for the bass because I typically record my bass straight into the interface. Sometimes I use modulars, sometimes I don't, depends on the sound I'm searching for, but yeah, for the most part I just use the bass directly into the interface, so like that. Now I'm gonna uh, show you some clips and I figure it's a good time to compare it to my Behringer since the, there is a significant price difference between the two so I wonder if you can hear the difference. Bear in mind you have to use earphones or decent monitors to, to perceive the difference. If you are watching on your phone you're not gonna hear it. So I gain matched the two interfaces for each recording so that I was sure that the gain was set the same from the interface. Bear in mind that I don't have a lot of microphones, so if you want to hear this interface with many different microphones, I suggest you watch this video from uh, Podcast Stage, so you can hear it with different microphones. So now let's hear it, and then we'll come to the conclusion.
So, this is the sound of the SM58 on the Behringer. So, this is the sound of the SM58 into the Audient ID14. This is the test of Behringer with a condenser microphone. This is the test of the Audient with the condenser microphone. So, did you hear any differences? I think there is a little more top end, especially in the uh, acoustic and in the condenser mic. I want to get an interface that can squeeze the most out of them of anything I put in it. And the Audient is a is a very very good interface. I like that you can control the monitor volume and the headphones volume with a big knob. It gets firmware updates, so it's gonna be supported hopefully, but as it stands, it has everything I need. The only issue I have is it doesn't have a pad, apparently, and that feature is only available in the uh, more expensive ID44, could be an issue. So let me know in the comments, did you hear any difference? Did you prefer the Behringer of the, or the Audient, or you just didn't hear any difference? Let me know in the comments, I don't know how the recordings will translate to um, the YouTube compression, so bear in mind there is a step between what I hear and what you hear, but it's, it should be pretty minor, hopefully. So let me know in the comments and I'll catch you in the next video, guys. See ya!